Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to start on Unit 9 of Algebra 1, which is over sequences. So we're going to start easy, and we're going to start by just identifying sequences. So let's start with a definition. A sequence is a list of numbers with a special pattern. So it can't just be any list. It has to have a special pattern to it. There are two types of sequences that we're going to go over. The first one is an arithmetic sequence, and the second one is a geometric sequence. So let's first start off with an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence has a common difference. And we use the letter D to represent common difference. So if you look at these words, when you have something in common, it means that you have something the same. And in math, we use the word difference for subtract. So having a common difference means that the pattern will add or subtract the same number over and over and over again. Okay, now let's look at a geometric sequence. Geometric sequences have a common ratio, and we use the variable r to represent common ratio. This means that the pattern will multiply or divide the same number. Okay, so looking at these two things, the main difference that you have to keep in mind is that when it's arithmetic, you are going to either add or subtract. When it's geometric, you're multiplying and dividing. So arithmetic is add and subtract. Geometric is multiply and divide. Okay, so what we're going to do is if I were to give you a list of numbers, could you tell me what kind of sequence it is? So you have to go in a certain order of steps. So how do you identify? The first thing you're going to do is check for a common ratio. So basically you're going to check, can you multiply or divide? If you are able to find the common ratio, that would mean that it is a geometric sequence. Okay, but say you can't find a common ratio, it just doesn't work. So then you move on to step two, and you check to see, does it have a common difference? So can I add or subtract a number? So if this time it works, then that means that it's an arithmetic sequence. And then, okay, say you do that and it still doesn't work. So if the list does not have a common ratio or a common difference, so it doesn't have either one, we say that it's neither. That'll hardly ever come up, but it might come up. So I wanted you guys to know what that meant. So let's look down here for our practice problems. It says determine whether each of the following sequences is arithmetic, geometric, or neither and also identify what the common difference or the common ratio is. So I know we just wrote it down, but just so that we can have a reminder, arithmetic is when you add or subtract, geometric is when you multiply or divide. Okay, so let's look at example number one. So if I'm following the list from above, it says the first thing we should do is check to see if it has a common ratio. Can I divide by a number and get the same number every single time? So the way we do this is let's get the second number 22 and divide it by the first number 5. So we're going to have a fraction that looks like this. Okay, well, I want to know what that is. What is 22 divided by 5? So I need a calculator. 
So the way I told you guys to do this, if you don't have a calculator on your phone, is to go to the website Desmo. So I'm going to do that now. So www.desmos.com slash scientific. Okay, and it'll take you to a calculator that looks like this. Okay, so from here, I want to type in the fraction we have. Let me do this so we can see both at the same time. Okay, so the fraction that we have over here is 22 over 5. So let's see what that gives us. 22 divided by 5 gives us 4.4. So from here to here, they multiplied by 4.4. So now let's do the next one, set that up as a fraction. So it would be second number divided by the first number. So what is 39 divided by 22? So I'm going to put that into my calculator. 39 divided by 22, enter. And I get this long fraction. I'm just going to write... 1.8 so I'm going to round. So here on the second one they're multiplying by 1.8. Okay so here's the thing. Up here at the top for geometric sequences it says that I need to multiply or divide by the same number. So if you look 4.4 and 1.8 are not the same number obviously, right? So that means that geometric is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase what I just wrote and I'm going to move on to step two. Step two set to check for a common difference. So this time I'm going to check to see can I add or subtract the same number every single time. So back to my example here. So you always do second number minus the first number. So 22 minus 5. What does that give me? So I'm going to go to my calculator. And I get 17. So from here to here, they had to add 17. So then let's do the second one. 39 minus 22, what would that give us? And again, I get 17. So between these two numbers, they had to add 17. Now let's check the last pair. So 56 minus 39. And I get 17 again. So from here to here, they had to add 17. So this time, if you look, every single number is the same. That is exactly what you want. You want the number to be the same. And because we had to add, what kind of sequence is this? Looking at my notes, when you add or subtract, that makes it arithmetic. So this sequence here, 522, 39, 56, is an arithmetic sequence. And what is our common difference? Our common difference is the number that was the same every single time, 17. Okay, let's look at the second problem. So I have 80, 40, 20, 10, 5. So following the steps from above, it says the first thing we're going to do is check for a common ratio. So by dividing or by multiplying. So we're going to divide. Let's do the second number divided by the first number. I'm going to put that into the calculator to see what I get. 
I get 0 0.5. Let's turn that into a fraction. You see this circle next to the number? It even says convert to fraction if you click that. So this is the same as saying 1 half. So from 80 to 40, they're multiplying by 1 half. Okay, so let's see if it's the same every single time. So let's do the next two numbers. 20 divided by 40. So back to my calculator. And I get 0 0.5, which as a fraction is 1 half. So, so far so good. It's the same both times. They multiplied by 1 half. So we need to do this two more times. So we need to do 10 divided by 20. And we need to do 5 divided by 10. I'm going to do them both at the same time. So 10 divided by 20. Convert to fraction is 1 half. And then 5 divided by 10. Convert to fraction is 1 half. So it did stay the same. They're multiplying by 1 half every single time. So what kind of sequence does that make this? Since they're multiplying, see how we had to divide every single time here? So multiply and divide goes with right here, geometric sequences. So this is a geometric sequence. which means that it has a common ratio of one half. Okay, let's do two more examples. Number three has two, twelve, seventy-two, four hundred and thirty-two. I'm going to clear my calculator. Okay, so First thing I need to check for is a common ratio, so multiplying and dividing. So between 2 and 12, I get the second number 12, I'll divide by 2, and what does that get me? That's me 6. So that means that 2 times 6 would give me 12, which is true. So now let's do the next ones. 72 divided by 12. And that also gives us 6, so that means that 12 times 6 is 72. And the last ones, 432 divided by 72. And I get 6 again. So since they're multiplying by the same number, they're multiplying by the same number over and over and over again, what kind of sequence is this? Arithmetic or geometric? Good, that makes this a geometric sequence. What is its common ratio? It'll be six. Okay, and then number four, 25, 14, 3, negative 8. So following the steps, we're going to divide first. So what is 14 divided by 25? Let's go to my calculator. I get 0.56. That was from here to here. Let's do the next two. So 3 divided by 14. So this time I get this long decimal, 0. 0.2142. But the point is, is that it's not the same as the first one. They need to be the same. So since these are not the same, dividing is not going to work. So it is for sure not a geometric sequence. Let me erase this. Okay, our next step would be to check. So we did this first one and it didn't work. 
check for a common difference. So can you subtract? So starting with these first two, let's do 14 minus 25. So calculator. That gets me negative 11. So from here to here, they have to subtract 11. Let's do the next step. What is 3 minus 14? Also negative 11. And the last set. So negative 8 minus 3. Negative 8 minus 3. And I also get negative 11. So since it has the same number all three times, and it only worked when we were subtracting, what kind of sequence is this? Good, that makes this an arithmetic sequence. Now, does it have a common ratio or a common difference? So since we're subtracting, it's a common difference. And what is our common difference here? Negative 11. Okay, and that's it for identifying. Honestly, I know some of y'all can do this in your head, can look at it, but I wanted to show you how you would check if you can't do it in your head. Remember that you could always use desmos.com slash scientific if you need a calculator. If you have any questions over this, you can send me a message through Remind or you can send me an email. Bye, guys.